We're gonna pop a little bit. <laughs> Hi. My name's Kelty. Now when quarantine happened and we all had to transition to at-home workouts, something started happening. I started noticing these mad fit videos everywhere. Right there in that corner, there's probably one of our videos right there. On your sidebar, you're probably getting recommended one right now. If you're new around here, my thing is I, I like doing different sports, fitness, workout challenges. And you guys kept asking me because I think you're all doing this as well. Challenge accepted. So I did mad fit workout videos for two weeks, 14 days, and here's what happened. My first thought was, who is mad fit? Because I had this sneaky suspicion mad fit was indeed not her real name. A quick Google search of her name showed that it appears other people were also asking the same question. Her name is Maddie Lindbergh. She's a fellow Canadian, woohoo, a former competitive dancer who competed in Germany and the US. She started her YouTube channel back in 2015 and her channel blew up when the increased demand for at home workouts happened during quarantine. So her most popular one is her bad guy full workout routine, which is three and a half minutes. I'm gonna do that right now. Sorry, you're not gonna hear much of the music because I don't wanna get copyrighted. <laughs> You guys know I'm on my gymnastics training uh, journey right now so flexibility body awareness is like really important to me it's a beginner flexibility routine workout lose lower belly fat now the title um you can't spot reduce anywhere in your body it's an overall calorie deficit which you can get by increasing your energy expenditure by moving more or reducing your intake like build your abs like you would any muscle lose some body fat build some muscle that's how you're gonna get abs i'll see what she says i want to talk to you guys a little bit about losing belly fat goals the trick is you can't really spot reduce calories and calories in your body you can really focus on toning that area building up that muscle and also incorporating more cardio and hit style workouts to help you lose that fat. I eat all my words. This is the perfect intro, okay? I stand behind her. She's, yes. I love her. Oh my gosh. Better advice than I gave. I was just a sassy asshole. You should be tucking the bum under and pressing. You can tell understands how to actually engage your core. I'm silly and I'm not an expert, but I just mean like if you're like bent like this, you're, you're gonna use your lower back, not your abs. You have to tuck this in to actually engage those lower. So instead of this, belly button goes back. And that's how she opens it. Anyone else like does six push ups? Do I have abs? <laughs> challenge was from a few weeks back. It was actually filmed during the time I took the week off YouTube. I think we all felt the same heaviness in the world at that time. I, I didn't even know if I should share this part, but it was part of these two weeks and I thought it was important to include. Um, I started to get this, what I can only describe as this falling feeling in my chest. The sensation is when you're at the top of the roller coaster and it falls and you feel like your heart's kind of just flying in midair and it skips a beat. But I was getting it at random times throughout the day, and it's something I've personally never experienced in my entire life. So near the second half of this challenge, yeah, I just kept having this tightness and this weight on me. Now, it didn't take away from my workouts, normally the gymnastics ones and that. It wasn't that I wasn't enjoying them, it was just there was so much heaviness in everything I did in the day. Starting 
this challenge, I assumed I would naturally pick the workouts that aligned with my own fitness goals, flexibility, core strengthening, etc. Around day eight or nine, I started to feel this pull towards doing more of the dance videos though, and that heaviness I talked to started to lift. Then I'm gonna do right now, because I just need some upliftingness. Is that a word? No, it's not. I'm... <laughs> Workouts weren't perfectly aligning with my goals, but they just started to be so fun because we all still have goals. Here's me reminding you basically, that thing you've always wanted to do for me, it's a handstand and splits. You should start, you should do it. You should do your first stretch towards that goal, whatever it is. I'm all about that. Started that a while ago and I'm still doing it, but I think along the way, we also have, have hobbies that help balance us out. So it wasn't that I stopped my normal training. I was still doing her stretching flexibility workouts, the ones that focused on increasing my core and glute strength for my gymnastics training. But I just found I wanted to do several for dance videos on top of that with nothing to do with any of my fitness goals. They just seem to bring so much joy to my day. As I started gravitating more towards the dance videos, it had nothing to do anymore with the workout. I found it was just like a moment of just thinking, oh, this one looks fun. I really like this song. Let's do that. And that was just so nice. Speaking of what I needed, the thing about fitness is we all have different goals. We have different things. So I actually reached out on Instagram and asked if any of you guys are doing that. Just some other results. First, here's Amanda. She's been doing Mad Fit's workout and she had the kind of same experience as me. It was just like helped her so much with the mental stress of quarantine and everything going on. And also, can we take a moment to look at Amanda's progress photos? <laughs> Down in the comments, a round of applause. Girl, you had a glow up in quarantine and I'm proud of you. Here's what Michelle thought. One of the comments she said that I totally agree with is Maddie just seems to really enjoy it and it just seems like a friend. They were very inviting in her videos and I feel like she cares about you, if that makes sense. I know it sounds funny, <laughs> it doesn't, but that's how I feel. Here's Kira's before and after and what she thought and oh my gosh, another, another down in the comments. <laughs> Applause because we are so proud of you. It made such good progress, not just physically, but mentally and I'm proud of all you guys. And here's some other testimonials of MadFit's programs, people's pros and cons, what they like best, their favorite videos. I'll put it on the screen here. You can pause the video if you wanna see them. So after 14 days of doing the workouts, here's the pros, the cons. First for the pros, videos fun and short. Great, simple way to get up and move to great music. Speaking of which, second point, great music. I don't know if she doesn't get copyrighted or she does and she sacrifices the money for good songs. Either way, four, I did get this vibe that I was working out with a really fit friend, like how she talked. You, everyone has that one friend that's way fitter than you. I just felt like that's who she was, which was kind of nice when we got to work out alone right now. Five, even though she has some things catered towards six pack losing weight, she addresses it right and explains, which I feel a lot of workout videos don't do, is that yes, what you eat, your body fat percentage. Yeah, yeah, there's so much components. It's not like you do some crunches, you're gonna get a six pack. She addresses it. Thank you. Uh, if you're not familiar with choreograph, why can't I say this word? Choreography. Choreography. <laughs> Alexa, how do you say choreography? Sorry, I'm not sure about that. Oh, choreography. 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 Dance movements. <laughs> Anyways, moral of the story, if you're not familiar with doing that, you weren't a dancer, she teaches it very much like any little dance classes I've done. You kind of just like jump into it and do it and follow along repetitively till you get it. That format of her, not familiar for me, so it, uh, it took some practicing. Two, it's not customized towards you. Obviously, if you're just tuning into at home free workout program online, it's not gonna be customized to you. Three, I didn't see like a community behind it. And I think community is the most important thing about your fitness journey. It brings people together. But at the same time, I will say, 
see both sides and that like her videos are just like plain here's this video here it is you can pick up anyone it's like a how i met your mother friends you can just watch any episode you don't have to watch them one by one versus some things are like game of thrones you miss 20 seconds you have no idea what's going on and i feel that about some fitness videos is i watch them and i'm like i don't get this culture there's inside jokes i'm not aware about i feel like i'm intruding versus hers i was like anyone who pick up anyone i want this 15 minute stretch bam and then the fourth con is no there is no step by step here's proper form this that if she were to do that with every video it would take away if you just want a 15 minute upper body she wouldn't be able to do that i'm just saying a reminder that you should every once in a while check in with a fitness professional to make sure you're doing proper squat forms all that i think everyone should hire a personal trainer at least like once a year even if that's all you can afford just to make sure you're not hurting yourself so you can do stuff like that for my overall thoughts now what i thought would actually be a con ended up being the pro right now i'm trying to do gymnastics training a lot of handstands flexibility mobility she has little components of that so i thought i was like hey i can supplement this i have to really work on building my core and glute strength so i can kind of do that and that's what i was kind of thinking i was like there's ways i can supplement this. it seemed to be such a mental thing for me those dance videos were so fun i just felt i was smiling more the world is so heavy and i just found like everything about my life was consumed my workouts are for my videos and i love my videos but then that's all i'm doing all i'm doing is working out for videos and this and my videos also have influence well, then I need to go and I need that's how i was feeling i was doing everything but nothing everywhere you turned it was negativity and just trying to find joy it was really hard um and the dance videos started to do that my eureka moment was i was listening to this podcast with ryan holiday who i'm a big fan of now ryan talked about this story about sir Jim churchill after the first world war he was having constant nervous breakdowns with good reason that uh, seems very stressful his sister actually gave him her child's paint set and just hoped it may relax. And Ryan quoted, the most important thing someone can do is have one or two hobbies. Him painting just allowed him this really simple, in the moment, no stress, just time to relax away from the noisiness of the world. But he was still allowed to be creative without it being for someone else, just purely for him. And I think that's such a great message. And this can be a fitness, this can be with other creative things. Things that are just for you, that get you away from the world, just pure distraction. It can be painting, it can be singing, it can be dancing. I'm a big fan of doing just different forms of movement that feel good. Aren't necessarily towards a fitness goal. Still have those fitness goals, but I think by having these times away, when you do it, you're fully engaged because your mind isn't thinking about other things. So I want to thank Madfit for just having these little dance videos that just brought me so much joy. I, I highly recommend them just even for that. Great way to move your body, have fun with it, find some hobbies, find fitness hobbies that aren't so goal focused sometimes. Always have those goals, but you can have both and that's okay. I know it seems shocking that you can have things that like kind of contradict each other, but that's called a personality. <laughs> uh, any other challenges you guys want, comment down below. I got a few in the works that I'm excited to let you guys. And most importantly, have a great day. Goodbye, Dad. Love you. Bye.